Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, we will be discussing the previously asked coding question in the IBM exam for the software engineering role. So guys, this is part one of this series. More questions I will be discussing in coming videos. As we all know that IBM hiring is currently going on and there, there will be a uh, soon their exams will be starting. So these videos are for your practice purpose. So make sure that you are watching the entire series as well as entire this video so that you can get to know the type of the questions which are getting asked in this exam. Okay, so guys do hit that subscribe button so that you get all the future notifications of the IBM series. And guys previously also on my channel, we have discussed lot of interview experiences of different different companies as well as the coding questions of those companies. All you can find on our uh, channel that is Code Bashers. The links of all these playlists will be given in the description box. So make sure that you are present on this channel. So do hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please share this video among your friends also. We will have to quote this question. Okay. So let's just read the question first. Given a square matrix, calculate the absolute difference between the sum of its diagonals. Okay. For example, the square matrix is shown below. This is a square matrix. That is, it is three by three. That is, the number of rows are equivalent to the number of columns. So in square matrix, the number of rows are equivalent to the number of columns. So here, how many rows are there? Total rows are three. And how many columns are there? The columns are also three. So therefore, it's a square matrix. What we have to do? We have to calculate the absolute difference between the sum of its diagonals. So how many diagonals does square have? So square have two diagonals. First diagonal is this one. That is this one. Uh, this is 1, 5 and 9. This is one of the diagonals. The second diagonal is this one, 3, 5 and 9. Okay, so what do you have to do? We have to calculate the absolute difference between the sum of its diagonals. Okay, so let's just understand with the help of example. So this is the 3 by 3 square matrix that is given to us. The left to right diagonal is what is the sum of the first diagonal? That is left to right diagonal. What is the sum of that diagonal? It is 1 plus 5 plus 9. 1 plus 5 plus 9, that is 15. Next diagonal is the right diagonal. What is the sum of the elements of the right diagonal? It is 3 plus 5 plus 9. Okay, 3, 5, 9, it is 17. Now we have got two sums of two diagonals. Now we have to find the absolute differences of both these. So what will be the absolute difference? It will be 15 minus 17, that is minus 2, and absolute will be 2. So therefore the answer is 2 here. So again, I'm explaining you. We will be given a square matrix. There, two, there will be two diagonals that are present. First of all, we will have to calculate the sum of each of the diagonals. And then we have to find the absolute difference of those sum. So again, calculate the absolute difference between the sum of its diagonal. So first we will find the sum of the right, uh, left diagonal that is 159. Then we will find the sum of the right diagonal that is this 359. And 15 and 17 we will subtract from each other and will give us the absolute answer that is 2. So this question is very on the easier part. Okay. So you will be lucky if this question gets repeated in the upcoming drive. Okay. So answer will be two. So I hope now the question is clear to you. Now let's just quickly discuss the approach of this question and then we will discuss the coding part of this question. Okay. So guys, this question is slightly on the easier side. Therefore the approach as well as the coding part I have covered uh, together only. So let's just see what we have to do. We, we, we are given a function. Okay. We have to complete this function. In this function, there will be an input array that is 2D array. It will be a square array and then is the n. n is the how many number of columns and how many number of rows it have. Okay. What you have to do? Again, I am repeating. You have to first calculate the sum of the left diagonal. Then we have to calculate the sum of the right diagonal. And then we have to find the absolute difference between those two sums. So therefore, we have taken two variables. One is left sum. Another is one is right sum. So we have initialized with both these variables with zero only because currently the sum is zero. Okay. Now see, for in left sum, what we'll do, we will store the uh, we will store the sum of the elements that are present on the left diagonal, and in the right sum, we will store the sum of the uh, elements that are present on the right diagonal. So first, the, what we'll do, we will we will now first calculate the left sum, that is the uh, sum of left diagonal elements, and then using the other while loop, we will be uh, covering the sum of the elements of the right diagonal. What is happening inside this while loop? For uh, first, we'll let's just discuss for the left diagonal. Okay, first, just dis discuss for the left diagonal. So, in left diagonal, what we have taken, we have taken two uh, variables that are i and j. Okay, what are these i? What i j are representing? So, i j are representing the index of the elements. So, if you will notice on the left diagonal, that is this one, this five, and this nine. 
So these are the left diagonal. What are the values of i and j? That is index. So i value for the first one is zero, and j value for the first one is also zero. Okay. Now moving ahead for the second row, for this fifth one, what is the i value and j value? I value is one. And what is the j value? J value is also one. N next is the third one. That is this nine. This nine is coming in the left diagonal. So what is the value of i and j for this value? I will be two, and j will be two. So you can see that starting from i equal to zero and j equal to zero, what we are doing after every element, that is the next diagonal elements, decides that i plus one and j plus one. So zero plus one one, j plus zero plus one again one. So next diagonal element will be at one comma one. Okay, and then next diagonal will be i plus one, j plus one. That is, first it was one, then a plus one we have done. Now i is also two and j is also two. So it means the next diagonal element is now present at two point two, two comma two. So zero comma zero, one comma one, two comma two, slash 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 till n comma n. So this is how we will calculate the sum of the left diagonal elements. Okay, let's just move uh, here. Just a second. Yes. So in this while loop, what we are doing? Initializing i and j with zero. We are Doing a while loop, i less than n and j less than n. Okay, that is the last value. And what we are doing? First of all, we are adding the current element to the left sum array. And once that current element has been added to this left sum array, what we are doing? We are simply doing i plus plus and j plus plus. Why we are doing i plus plus and j plus plus? Because to find the value at the next diagonal or next element of the left diagonal. Okay. So once this while loop is over, it will move like this: zero comma zero, then one comma one, then two comma two, and till 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 n comma n. Okay, so after this while loop is over, we have the elements of the left diagonal, sum of elements of the left diagonal in this left sum variable. So after this while loop, we have a value in left sum. Now we have to calculate the sum of the right sum diagonal elements. Okay, so what we'll do? How we'll approach that thing? Let's just quickly see. Let me just remove it. First, let me just oh sorry, uh, control Z. Yeah, just a second. Okay. Okay. So here you can see now we have to calculate the uh, left uh, right diagonal element sum. So three is coming on the right diagonal, five is coming on the right diagonal, and nine is also coming on the right diagonal. So here what what is the value? Here the value is of i is zero, and j is two. Okay. Then on the next element what is the value? I is one, and j is also one. Next on the third line, what is the value of this nine? Here also the i will be two, i will be two, and j will be zero. So if you are noticing what is happening in this scenario, the i value is incrementing by one in each of the steps, and the j value is decrementing by one step every time because we are earlier we were going from left to right, now we are going from right to left. Therefore, i values keep keep on increasing, and j value is Come continuously decreasing by one in every iteration or moving towards the next diagonal element. So I hope this thing is clear to you. Now let's just quickly move in that loop that what in that right sum loop what is happening. So here we have initialized with i is equal to zero and j is equal to n minus one. So here uh, in that example our n was three, therefore we were starting by two. So what we are doing while i is less than n because see why i is less than n because first of all it is initializing with zero. And it maximum value it can go is n minus one. So therefore, while i is less than n, and j is greater than equivalent to zero because j is starting from the n minus one. So j has the range of n minus one to zero. Therefore, j can move like this from n minus one to zero. Okay. So therefore, while i is less than n and j is greater than equivalent to zero, this is our condition for the right diagonal. And inside this again, what we are doing, we are doing simply. First of all, we are adding the current element to our right sum array or right sum variable, and then for to finding the next di uh, next element on the right diagonal, what we are doing, we are incrementing i by one, i plus plus, and we are decrementing j by one, that is j plus j minus minus. As I have described here, you can see for every iteration, i is incrementing by one and j is decrementing by one. So therefore, what we have done, we have simply done i plus plus and j minus minus. So after this while loop is over, we have right sum also, we have left sum also. So therefore, we have after after this we are returning uh, absolute value of left sum minus right sum because in our code, but uh, in our question, what we are we were given, we have to find the absolute difference between the sum of the its sum of its diagonals. Absolute difference between the diagonals. So we have now left diagonal, we have now right diagonal. Therefore, we are returning the absolute 
डिफरेंस ऑफ द सम ऑफ टू एलिमेंट्स टू डायग्नल्स सो आई होप दिस थिंग इज क्लियर टू यू 